hello everyone welcome back to my channel and on this video i will show you a tutorial of watershed delineations by our studio and grass eis before we start don't forget to subscribe let's start by open your r studio this time again i will use the r studio for windows 10 In this tutorial, I use digital surface model of 5 meter resolutions from Merapi Volcano Area in Indonesia. You may find your own in the USGS website as well. I show you one of the examples. So the Earth Explorer is the uh, first recommendation from Google and if you click on this, it will bring you to a lot of data available by the USGS and then the digital elevations model is here and there are a lot of digital elevations model provided by USGS. Here is for Aster 30 meter and then this is for SRTM. You can find it for the uh, 30 meter resolutions as well. Yes, my data is 5 meter resolutions, and of course, it will be very fine and give you a better uh, results. However, it will take a lot of time as well. But I think that if you have the 30 meter or even 90 meter resolutions, it can do a good job as well for water set delineations. For today's tutorial, I have written the script here and if you want to get the copy as usual, I put it as well in the description section. It will take you to my blog where the other explanations is also included. Okay, first, uh, let's load all of the libraries that I used for today's tutorial and they are Airgrass 7 and Raster. Then you have to create the new location for working with your data with GRASS by calling the programs of GRASS GIS 7.4.4 from your uh, RStudio environment. It will bring you to a new window by grass keys and then here you can create a new location. Okay, just use this provided by uh, default new locations and then next and then we can use the data file for the georeference uh, information. In here I use the same uh, georeference given by the same file which is uh, utm at uh, Merapi Volcano which is 49s actually there may be a simpler way which is better to do this uh, but this is the only way I know that works out in my computer and then we can initiate the grass case and also set the working directory of our uh, project here as you can see that uh, now it has the projections information as I mentioned previously that my data is 5 meter resolution raster so it may take quite time to process it so the first step I would like to do after reading the raster file is to uh, crop and then resample the resolutions to be 10 meter times 10 meter resolutions Okay, 
I just ignore this. It's just an error. I forgot to remove. So if we check our new cluster is given here, it has 10 meter resolutions for X and Y, which is different with the original raster that is 5 meter resolution for X and Y respectively. Okay, next let's do some pre-processing for our uh, digital elevation data. by using the functions provided by the aircraft library. So the r.info command in aircraft 7 is actually to get the information of raster. However, as we can see in here that before we set the G regions, our raster image will not have any projection file, but if after we set it to raster image and G region, it will have the uh, projections file information. You can check it by here. Okay already have our projected or georeference information and next are just some processing for the water set delineation functions uh, given by the ergos library and i will just then it Here is to create the drainage, the stream, and then the basin or catchment. Okay, it's all work, and then this is to do the thin. Uh, I would like to inform you that we don't need to uh, fill do the fill analyze, do the fill processing of the raster as we did for, as we did in Argis. Okay, to convert your uh, raster image to vector for both the stream and the basin or catchment, we use the r2 fact command. And then to write it both into shape files, we use the vout ogr command. So let's read our results. Now, if you check on your uh, folders here. I'm sorry, the, your working directory here, you can find some new shape files uh, that are .dbf, .prg, .shp, and .shx for both the area or the catchment and also the streams. So we have finished all the raster water set delineation process and now uh, we can plot all of them. Uh, we can read this for the area and also the streams. And then if we would like to plot it, 
just like the simple plot functions from R. Okay, it requires times. So, okay, here is the catchment area, and then if we would like to add the stream or the reverse. can also do it okay that's all for today's tutorial i hope that you can learn something useful and sorry for my english that is not so clear i'm actually not a native speaker but i would like to see you on my next tutorial bye bye